R90S is an icon. It comes actually from a time where bikers were rebels. <laughs> it's a cool bike from the 70s, and the bike has a real great soul. It was the first bike which had a designer working on it, and we decided to bring out this old jewel and recut it in a way that nobody expected from BMW Motorrad. We were looking for a partner with the right spirit and knowledge how to build a high-performance bike. And we found him, actually in California. I grew up in Long Beach in Southern California and I think that the culture I was surrounded with has a big influence on me today. Motorcycles are a huge part of my life. It's really how I express who I am and what I'm about. It seems that no matter what I look at, it has an influence. And when BMW approached us to do the R90S homage project, I was really excited about it, but at the same time, I was also very curious as to where we would start and where they wanted us to finish up. I mean, the biggest challenge was, we, you know, we needed to convince Roland Sands to build this bike for us. I thought of bringing over some sketches to him, but then I, you know, we got to bring him a prototype of this bike. And one week later, we were there in California with a bike, and he just started doing burnouts in the yards and then he came back and his eyes were just beaming and that was it. It was just such a spectacular crazy moment in this project. With what BMW has going on it's like a whole new level of design and we're looking at incredibly reliable bikes paired with beautiful function and form. What I really love about motorcycle design is that you get to design every bit and piece of the bike. But that's also the challenging bit because you got to understand every piece and bit of the motorcycle. When you're working on the motor, you got to know what goes on inside of it. Otherwise, you can't really design it in an honest way. And that's the quality I see within my team. What I think is interesting with this motorcycle, somehow it also reflects the spirit in the design studio. Because a lot of people out there, they think that we're like, like these super clean cut guys running around in white lab coats and, you know, working on computers that creates motorcycles in a magical kind of way. Yeah, on one hand, it might be true, right? We, we're a very high tech company. On the other hand, we're really a bunch of garage rats. And guys are welding and grinding and getting dirty. And this combination, I think, is just the coolest thing, right? Yeah, hello. Hola, what's happening? Hey, Roman, you sent me a picture of the frame for the instruments. It's such a killer part. You got that part back, man, and it was, it's perfect. Like, it's really lightweight. When people think about BMW, they usually think about precision and function, which is also correct. I mean, we're always at the cutting edge, pushing innovation. That's our thing. But this bike is a bit different. This bike is about heart and soul and garage spirit. This bike is all about emotion. I, I wasn't expecting it to What I really good. like about this bike is that mix between yeah, old classic yeah. style and new technology. Like the bodywork is very simple, very clean. It really captures that pureness of the R90S. And then we have all the technology where everything is just littered with the best parts you can get that really speaks high performance. When BMW came to us and said they wanted to do the R90S, homage bike. It was a really big project just in general, but we really attacked it from both ends. So it was not only aesthetically correct, but then the fully functional aspect of it as well. All of us had the same vision, um, which is pretty, I think, unique when you, when you pull people from such different parts of the world together. But I think that it really shows in the end result. I think for me, a motorcycle is easily the purest 
execution of an idea, it's all exposed, you know? The engine's all out there. Every mechanical piece is, is exposed to the world, and you really can't hide bad design with a motorcycle. It's all right there. I really get a lot of satisfaction out of making that work.